Had a little poop accident, did we? The whole box of these on the floor. <laughs> and then, and listen, and I'm pick, trying to pick them all up, and it's going like that. What's happening, Free Game? We are coming to you live. But not live. From Derby in England. Yes, we're up seeing our friends. We've been doing some travelling as well. We went up to Manchester. Saw some of you lovely free going at a Christmas market. It was a really nice weekend, really nice event. But now we are back down in Derby as we are slowly making our way home this week after a few more stops. And while we're in Derby, we thought we we're going to do a very fun challenge, which was actually recommended by many of you free gangs. Yeah, like? lots of you asked us to do this video because a lot of you love our ABC challenge videos. I didn't realize this uh, shop was so popular, but so many of you have said, do an ABC challenge in the works. So we actually really like that shop as well. Yeah, we were actually, we stopped in there last time when we were in Derby when we were looking for fireworks. We were yeah. looking for fireworks in the works. But that did. didn't work, did it? <laughs> yeah, we didn't find any though, did we? <laughs> no, we didn't, not in there, funny enough. We did find a giant unicorn head, I think, didn't we? Yeah, let's get <laughs> <laughs> and this is a really, really cool time to do this video because Jojo needs school supplies and it's coming up to Christmas. So they do all sorts of things in there like Christmas gifts and like really cool stuff. So it's good for our friends and family members, especially those with kids as well. Yeah, as long as they don't watch this video. Yeah. <laughs> That could be mine. So for those of you who have watched our previous ABC videos, you know how it works. Me and Jojo are gonna go up against each other again and we're gonna choose letters out of this pot. So we're gonna have a half the alphabet each. And so with those 13 letters that they have, their choices then will be based on those letters. So for example, if they have a, a P, they might get some pens in this case, or They know oh, how it works. Rubber. They know how I just like works. saying the word and the letters. I think last time we remember, Mummy, you pretty much got all of the very difficult letters, didn't you? Yes. Literally every single one. The Except X is the Q. Y. Y, yeah. Why well, is not too bad, though. Why? So, let's get this over the way then. So today we have a nice yellow pot to pick the letters from. Last time we had a green hat, didn't we? Yes. We so could have used his hat. Thank you, Jane, for giving us this to yes. pick our letters out of. Who would like to pick first? Me. Oh. Mummy, you okay with that? Yep. Go for it, Jojo. Ooh, an R. Oh, oh, that's a, oh, that's a pirate's favourite letter. Oh, good. That's really quite, good one. That is oh. a good one. That's a good one. Mummy, do you want to go now? Oh no, <laughs> I've seen it. I can see it. I just seen it. <laughs> Q again. Oh no, this is going to be so insane. heavy. This is going to be the same. I think last one you picked out X to begin with. Jojo, you go. L. 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 Lovely. Lovely. Oh, we're all using lovely. Mummy? Oh, E. E. Right, Jojo, you go. G. Save for Jojo. My favourite letter. Oh, Mummy. go. Oh. V. V is not that bad. V, isn't it? It's, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it depends the words. It's a completely different shop. Yeah, I'm excited for this. But uh, yeah, wait till you see what letters you get. Do they do xylophones in there? T. T? Oh, you get all the good ones, Jojo. I love a cup of tea. Oh, H. Well, oh, that's not for a sec. No. H, that's a good one, Hello. I think. Something hairy. H for happy. N. You've got an N. Oh, it could have been a Z, but luckily mummy's put a line underneath. I'll put it, lines you know. under them so we know what way round they go. Oh, no. Oh, I no. Think it is. Oh, I think it no. Is. Oh, no. Open it quicker. <laughs> Open it. X. I am not excited. <laughs> Making words of them now doesn't count. You've got to buy products. Oh. oh, K? You've got a K for Katie? Yeah. Oh. Goodbye myself and you. Oh, B. B for Bob. B for Bob. That's yeah. a bad one. That's a good one. <laughs> oh, S. an S. Oh, Jojo, you're so lucky. S is a good letter to get. D. 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 D's a good one. G. G. That's a good letter. That is good. Don't take to Oh, why? 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 I. You've already got two eyes, why do you need another one? An eye up there. Oh, third eye. My third eye. P. P. Well, I really gave away what you could get, so there you go. I think that a pirate would like that letter too. No, they, they, like, like, they like an R. No, pirate. <laughs> right to have you. Oh, mummy. M. 
ain't got an end. Oh. 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 <laughs> How many times have we literally been? It's you! You! It's you! Unicorn things in there. <laughs> Spyco. That's what I mean. It's mummy's gun. Spyco. Every letter in there. You can't have every letter. Ah! <laughs> it's the Z. What is wrong with your choosing? I don't you, you, know. You're doing it again. I don't know. Z, X, and Q, the three toughest letters. Oh, look at her. She's having such a hard time. And Y. I've got a Y as well. Yeah, just rub it in. And O. And O, yeah. A? 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 What is this like? W. I think it's not as bad as, as we think, is it W? Yeah. No. Two more letters left. F? F, you can buy me out get a food corn thing. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Just buy a picture of mummy. <laughs> She's the food corn at the moment. Yeah. Last one, you don't have to rustle around, it's oh, the last it's one. It's the last one. Okay. C. C for cat. Yeah, I'm cracking with that letter. So you guys have chosen your letters. You happy with your letters? No. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so you know the deal is now. Grab your letters. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Who won the last two, would you say? I think I won the second one. Jojo won the first one. Is that right? So is it tied at the moment? One, one. Yeah, I think so. Because you guys normally comment who you think's won, and then we have to go through the comments and add them all up. So let us know in the comments below who you think is going to win this one based on the letters they got and what it's like at the works. I don't know the works well enough. This is hard to gauge. Supermarkets. Yeah, working really good, isn't it? Mmm. Supermarkets and Poundland, they're easy to gauge. I'm not too sure about this one. But anyway, without wasting any more time, should we get out and get to work? Yeah, go! Let's go! We just left Jane's house and we're on our way to the supermarket. No, not, not the supermarket. It's not a it's supermarket. Not a supermarket. That was the first alphabet challenge, Mommy. It's to the shopping centre. The shopping mall. And the shopping mall is called... Into. Into. We're going, we're going to go into, into. But after we're done we're at the shopping centre, we're not actually going back to Jane's. We're heading further back down south. We're going to be staying at our hotel tonight because I've got to talk at a university. So yeah, we will be going back to the hotel with all of these goodies, won't we? Yes. Assuming they will be goodies. Hope so. <laughs> Let's go then. So we're in the shopping centre now. Still trying to figure out where the works is. Can you remember? I think it's down here. It is downstairs, isn't it? Yeah. Wait, there's no time for riding in some sort of police vehicle. Oh no, he's a fire chief. Jojo, look all those buttons you have. Yeah. Wow. Bob, out. Okay. Get out of there. You cannot fit. Your leg is hanging out. Get this is out. How we drive. Get out. I don't like it. Get You've out. Got pink hair. Tell me what to do. I can't take you seriously. All right. right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Get those crooks. Are you a fire chief? He's a fire yeah, chief. I need to ride this mountain. What are we going to do for a fire and a bike? We need to ride on the bike. Are you going to fund Yes, we are. Yeah. Oh, hey. Nice to see you. <laughs> the free gang, she was probably thinking, what the hell are you doing in that? <laughs> I know. I was like, I recognise guys, but they're not that stupid. <laughs> Right, come on, ABC time, guys. ABC time. We're going 100 miles an hour. See you later. Come Jojo, on. ABC time. Yeah. Oh. Slime. This is going to be a good one. There's lots of games and stuff I forgot. Oh, this is awesome. I know one thing I could buy in here. I got the U, right? Unicorn head. Ah. No, not yeah. the unicorn head. Listen, listen, oh. we've already got a funicorn head on top of your mother's shoulders. Right, got your letters, Jojo? So I'll keep hold of your letters, I'll keep track of it and keep reminding you. And you, you're going to go off on your own. This isn't like a supermarket or big stall. We're going to see each other the whole time, aren't we? Probably. <laughs> well, we can't miss you, can we? You got your letters? Okay. Have fun and we'll see you in a bit. Jojo, you could just cheat and get actual letters. <laughs> no. Should we just get all that? that you could just be done within a couple of minutes. Mommy could get this. Or the letter X? Yeah. Oh, so you're on board with that then? Because it's a difficult letter. Hello, you two. Front is you already. Don't have anything in our basket. Let me see what's in your basket. Don't, worry, Don't look in out. my look, basket. Ga game over. We're all done. <laughs> that's, that's it. We'll split it half and half, yeah? Books is a good area. It's because of the different titles. Ah, so the different names of the books. Lots of different letters, isn't Invisible it? Invisible enemies. Oh, you, you, have you That's got an eye? I think you have, yeah. You have an eye? Angry Birds. Another book. 
Okay. If you haven't watched the Angry Birds movie, watch it. It's a brilliant movie. Oh. <laughs> pee. Looks like I found my pee. Oh, found loads of Harry Potter stuff, eh? Jojo, I want you to be very calm. There's a giant panda coming straight towards us. <gasps> what on earth are you doing? I was looking for a pee. Like, yeah, I'm just showing off because I've got my pee. Jojo's struggling. Stop dancing. We do not know you right now. Oh, fine. Be like this. Don't you mess around with that now. Jojo, where are you going? Come back. <laughs> Don't ram into me. Ooh, they've got some really nice calendars here. What are you looking at there? Llama snow globes. Llama snow globes. Very specific snow globes to have, llama ones. Harry Potter star. Lucky I have eight. Well, these are all lots of nice little games and toys and things, Jojo. Yeah, look at these bananas. They're all like googlies, squidgies. Look at that. Is this just like a banana with plastic around it filled with loads of bubbles of water in there? Yeah, so it's just shaped to look like a banana. There's nothing banana-ish about it, though. Look, here's a game called Goose Chicks. You've got a G as well. Yeah. You going to get that? Yeah. Cool. This is a good shot. Isn't it? Mm. So many different things. Just got four left, guys. This is really, really tricky now. What are you looking at there? Beat heaters. Oh, oh. Look, it has the little cat face on it. Oh, that's cool. That'd be a nice present. I think I'm going to have to go for Xmas stuff again, guys. We're looking at more books now. Yeah. We have now. We do have an L, yeah. Why? What are you looking at? Lego superheroes. And also, you can actually build something. Yeah, so it's, there's activities in there as well, and it's a comic book. Oh, cool. Do you want to get that then? Yeah. Notebook. Notebook? Yeah. That's your last letter. Mm -hmm. All done? Okay. Let's go. Those two are done, and I've been searching for the letter O for ages, and I cannot find it anywhere. What are you doing? Had a little poop accident, did we? The whole box of these on the floor, <laughs> and then and listen, and I'm pick, trying to pick them all up, and it's going like that. Listen. Make sure you wash your hands after. Jojo, watch where you tread. All the things of all the things you can knock on the floor. It's a poop situation, eh? We are back, and you will no doubt notice that. The hotel we're in right now very much looks like our home because it is our home. Yeah, we got back way too late to do the rest of the video and then the lighting in the room was, it was so, so dim. It was so dark, you wouldn't have even been able to see us. Yeah, so we just thought, let's just get our stuff home and then we can show you guys all of the stuff we got. So this video has been done in over two days. It's a two day video. We've never done a two day challenge before. So all together, these guys got four bags of our alphabet items. So some of this stuff we're gonna use now for Jojo's schooling, um, and some of this stuff we are gonna keep for Christmas. We're gonna use it for Christmas presents, some for Jojo, and some for other people that we know. And some of this stuff we're gonna to donate to a children's charity, uh, maybe a children's hospital charity, somewhere, something like that. Yeah, for those that maybe don't receive as much or have a bit of a harder Christmas. Should we see what we got then? Yeah, let's go from A to Z. Let's put your bags down at the sides and then we can see better everything you've got. So first up, of course, is letter A, which Jojo, that was you, what did you get? Angry Birds book. An Angry Birds book. So there's jokes in here and lots of little stories and fun. Ooh. Two pound as well. That's quite good. Not bad. Down from six pound. I love it. In the works, they always show you the recommended retail price and then the actual price. Hmm. This so is that, our price. Yeah, it was five ninety nine. Now it's two pounds. So well done, Jojo. Good saving. B. I believe that was you, Mummy. I hope you get the alphabet right this time. Do you remember last time you got the alphabet wrong? There was no Q, was there? Yeah, that right. <laughs> it was one of those different alphabets. And your seven-year-old son had to tell you. Next is R, the pirate's letter. What did you get, Jojo? No. Q. Oh yeah, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> you you missed one out. <laughs> Bob doesn't know the alphabet. Bob doesn't know the alphabet. 
We don't need to be reminded. Yeah, I, I that. knew there was something wrong with that. Yeah. We don't need to be reminded. But B, I got a book too. It's called Big Nelly. Big Nelly. Do you know what I like about this book? It says at the front, it's okay to be different. Yeah. So and for all of the purple elephants with pink bows out there. It's fine. Yeah, but just remember that, guys. It's okay to be different. Everyone's different. That's yeah. what makes this world a beautiful place. Everyone's an individual expression. Look mm. at me with this ridiculous hair. Not ridiculous. No, I'm joking. I absolutely love my hair. So next is the letter C. You had that as well, didn't I you? I got C. Cat. Oh, I love this thing. I love this thing. It's a calendar. It looks like a really boring car uh, calendar. But what it is, is a one where you colour in all of like the, the day, all of the months. Oh cool, so there's all these patterns on the back and you can colour them all in. They're pretty intense yeah. patterns as well. I know, a lot of, of detailed detail colouring. But you know what, every single year we get a calendar that has um, pictures of our previous year. Yeah, it has pictures and we get it done, we go to Vista Print or somewhere like that and get it done. But it just takes so long and then we're like halfway through January, <laughs> don't have a calendar. We have no idea what's happening in our lives. So up next now is letter D, I believe that was you mummy. Houston, we have a problem. What? I didn't get a letter D. What do you mean you didn't get it? I don't know what happened. I got muddled up. You have the letters and everything. Remember there was the incident when I dropped all the poo on the floor? I think it was around that time that I was looking for the letter D. Oh man, I've lost the challenge. I think you have. I mean, it's down to you for a game, but my goodness. Jojo may not have all of his things. He might not, but... Oh, I might make up for it with other things. I don't know how this happened. Just get a dolly and you know it. When we did that... I think you should be kicked off the challenge for next time and I should be up against Jojo. You clearly can't be given responsibility. When we did the supermarket one, I got two of something. I got two ends. There's, there's no medium for you there. I know. You did it right on the pound then, right? You just go from extreme to extreme, don't you? <sighs> so let's move on to the next letter, which is E. And uh, that was you. Did you actually get something this yes. time? Yes. I'm going to make up for it with this thing. Oh, really? It's an emoji notebook. An emoji notebook? Yeah, it's got loads and loads of emojis. Let me it. see that. So it's a notepad, but it just has emojis on the front. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love notebooks, though. I really do. I know you do. Jojo, we can use that to write some of your stories in. Yeah, some of your handwriting. Okay, so next now was F. Jojo, that was you. Feet eaters. Oh, so feet these are like real thermal socks, aren't they? But they're called feet eaters. And they are for you. Oh, are they? Mm, oh. Her face is lighting up. They're like, those look really warm and cosy and I want them. I really want them. They match my hair as well. I thought of that as well. He was going to pick out these black ones and I said, well, what's about the pink ones? They're going yes, on his hair. Definitely. And there's a little cat at the bottom. Look at the little cat at the bottom there. Next letter is G. Jojo, that was you as well. Okay, it's a game called Goose Chase. Goose Chase? Goose Chase? Why are you chasing a goose? So it's like a mini game that you can take around, like a, a travel size one. A goose. A goose. A goose. Oh, that might be good for the aeroplane. Maybe. When yeah. we know where we're going, which Jojo doesn't know where we're going yet. We're going where he's not knowing. So next is the letter H. I think that was you, Mummy. Is that right? Oh, you're gonna love this, Jojo. Oh, it is a Harry Potter top trumps set. Jojo loves top trumps, and he loves Harry Potter. I'm a bit concerned that the casing is slithering, though. No, no, he's passed out. He's bad. Look, it's slithering. Oh yeah. I mean, maybe it's different stuff inside, or maybe the cases are different. Mummy. What? 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 Maybe it's a slithering one. Maybe. I think it is. Is it Slytherin? It's a Slytherin pack. Oh, Jojo. Jojo. Slytherin, really? Comment below for again, those of you are, that are into Harry Potter, have you checked out on Pottermore what house you would be in? Let us know in the comments below. I think we've got Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff. Sam's Ravenclaw and Jamie Slytherin. Thank you, Mummy. You're yeah. welcome. But that's for Christmas though, okay? Okay, let's put that over there then. So next is I. Oh, that, uh, Jojo, that was you. What did you get? Invisible Emmy. I can't even see it. Where is it? <laughs> oh. Yes, in a book called Invisible Emmy. I get a feeling that the books area saved this challenge, similar to the DVD saved the challenge in the Poundland one. It's like you could just find all sorts of different things in there. Next is J. 
which was you as well, Jojo. Yes, because of Jojo, I remember now. Okay. Another book. <laughs> it's a Jane Austen colouring oh. book. Yeah, so this is quite unique as well because obviously a lot of colouring books, um, they're very bold in that, but this one was based on the stories of Jane Austen, so it has images from there. Oh, nice. So again, that's going to be some tight colouring. No, I life. think we should donate. I think someone would love that. That's yeah. such a beautiful gift. That would be a lovely yeah, gift. We'll, yeah, we'll donate that. Next now is Kay, which is you as well, Joe. Kiddie-o! Kiddie Kiddie-o! Dough. Very much like Play-Doh or any other plain dough. Nice box of this, lots of different tubs. It's, it's, an got... ice cre it's an ice cream one. It's an ice cream one. I can see, I'm behind. Mm. Yeah, so you've got different spoons and different things there. That can make a very good present yeah, for someone else like as well. The yeah, I think we should donate that. Yeah, maybe it can be sent to like a kid at hospital. Yeah, you've got a lot. get many toys for Christmas. Yeah, you've got a lot of this stuff already, haven't yeah. you? So yeah, that'd be really nice for someone else. Uh, next is... L. I think that was you as well, Jojo. Yeah. The most obvious letter for Jojo. Letter. What would he pick? Superheroes comic. Yes. Oh. And it's also got a little Lego Superman on the front that you can put together. Yeah, so look at that. So that was L. Next is M. What have you got? I got a magic drawing board. Oh, these oh. are quite fun, yeah. I used to love those when I was a kid. Ooh. I think that'd be a real nice gift. For someone, for someone as well. yeah, that'd yeah. be nice. Next is N. I think that was you as well, Joshua. Oh. All these letters in the middle. Because I, I got all the dodgy end ones, end of the alphabet ones. Notebook. Notebook, yeah, nice simple notebook. Um, you nice. got your eyes on that, have you? Okay. O is O is the next letter. That's you, Mummy. You get to have a go. Oh. 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 The O took me ages. I think D took you longer. It's still going on. A book. Octonaut. Oh, Octonaut. Oh, oh. It's got a hologram on the front. We like a bit of Octonaut. Too. Oh, Jojo loves Octonauts. Next is Next letter. the letter P, but that was you again, Mummy? Oh, yeah, I got pens. Quite a simple one. I love these because I like highlighting things. Oh, is that the highlighter one? Yeah. Oh, they've got little heads on them, like rabbits or yeah, dogs. Yeah, they've got little dogs. They're cute. Next is R. Who had R? It's a rainbow pencil case. A rainbow oh, pencil case. Lovely. Look at the colours on that. That's... I think that would be a nice present for Sienna. Oh, could be. Yeah. Do you know what? One word that describes this? Snazzy. Ever I saw. That is snazzy. snazzy, that is. The next letter we have is S. That was you as well, Jojo. You've got quite a few multiple things. Stickers! Stickers, yes. Loads of stickers. Oh, lots of good ones. You've got like these sparkly Christmassy ones. And then you've got... All of these circle ones. We got these because they're like perfect for his homeschooling shop. Yeah, like ticks and smiles and well yeah. done. And these ones because it's good for decoration, arts and crafts. Next letter is the letter T, which is you, Jojo. No, you put on. Hang on. I did it. it. You missed it again. Jojo, that is missed the letter again. What? Q. <laughs> you did it. Bob doesn't know. M -N -O -P. The you missed Q again. Because <laughs> I was thinking I have something down here that begins with Q, and I was thinking, why is that going to come up then? Q's at the end of the alphabet. You got you do, guys still doing the old school alphabet? We've got a new one now. <laughs> okay, let's rewind. Let's no, just do... you're not cutting this out of the video. You're not. They're, they are going. No, I mean let's just go back to that letter. All right, we've got to go back to letter Q, Jojo. Okay, so it's not the letter T now. Apparently the next letter in the alphabet after S is Q. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> this is a really good one, actually. Took me ages to find a Q, but I found one. A Quidditch puzzle. Oh. So Quidditch is the game that they play in Harry Potter, and it's a thousand piece puzzle. Oh. That, is that for me? He loves puzzles. So it can be a family Christmas thing that we all do together, mm. okay? Right, there we go. Let's go back to the usual alphabet now. So we've done R and S, and now uh, T. That was you, wasn't it? Oh! The house, the house with a clock in its, its walls. walls. For those of you that watch all of our videos, you will remember that we went to the cinema to see this film, and seeing also at the same time how much food we could hide in our clothing. Yeah, how much food we could sneak on ourselves. That was that was one of the funniest videos we've ever done. <laughs> I keep looking in the mirror. Don't look in the mirror. The film was really good too. So yeah, Jaja wanted the book. Yeah, very interesting. It's going to be a very fun book yeah, to read. Yeah, it's all really good. 
It could be for you, it could be a gift though for someone else. Well, maybe. You could, well, maybe he could read it first and then give it as a gift. Yeah, that's a good idea. So next in the alphabet is the letter U, which was U. No. Oh yeah, it was. U seems quite easy in there, the amount of things that had this word in there, unicorn. Now this is a specific unicorn speaking book. So you've got a puppet at the back, basically. You can read the story while using this mouth. <laughs> Subscribe. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I, thought, I really, the amount of unicorn stuff they had in there, I Loved. really wish that I had the letter U. I really did. So the next letter is letter V. Go, mummy. What have you got? V, V, V. Volcano. It's a volcano set. Oh! Basically, you build your own volcano. And you look like a little scientist, like this boy on there. Yeah, this was really good. Like, they had so many games in there that were like two for £10. So, if you're on a budget at Christmas, I definitely re recommend that shop. And a lot of different stuff that you don't normally see, right? Yeah, really different things. So, yeah, volcano. Next is next? W, I think. W. I don't even trust myself anymore. I've what the? <laughs> we wanted one a of these for ages. Map. A world map. I don't know where we're going to put it yet, but... Let's go to New Zealand. Yeah, Joe just really been getting into geography at the moment, so I just want to put this up somewhere. Yeah, that'd be good so to have on show, won't it? Yeah, because we have like loads of uh, kids atlases that we use, but this will be really nice. And as well, there. you can put little stickers on all the places where you've been. So we, oh, yeah, we can use these stickers. That's a great idea. And stick them on all the places we, we go. Can colour code it. So okay. next letter is the letter X. Mummy struggled with X the two times she's had it. And every single time I've gone for Xmas stuff. And this is another Xmas thing. There's nothing that begins with X. We found something that begins with X every single time, what he has. These are like, you can buy them like Xmas bas uh, Christmas baskets. <laughs> you can't just get an object and say, it's a Christmas one. No, and I really like doing this. I wish we were doing these challenges in like March. Good luck when you find I the know. Christmas one. I know, what am I going to do after Christmas? Yeah, we're doing one in January and I'm taking over. I'm going to show you how to do X. X Xmas sale stuff. X Factor DVD. What, what is this Xmas thing then? So this is like, sometimes I make little hampers for my family around Christmas. So basically you buy one of these and then you put in different things like food, like pickles, all nice little things yeah, in there. And Loads treats. of snacks and chocolate and things like that. And then you give it to them. Okay. Yeah, you just put a letter X in there. There were actual letters, letter X in there. You should have just got that. But where, what would I have done with that? I've got to at least use the stuff. Right, anyway. You, we can't let her have the letter X. If you draw the letter X again, I'm we'll giving give it, it to Jojo. I'm giving it to Jojo. Right, next letter is Y. Y! y. This so book is a lovely book. Aww. You and me always. Look at that, how cute. That's just like me and you, isn't it? Yeah. Always. You're, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be the girl, you be the dog. Why am I the dog? It's because the dog's got more hair like you. But yeah, that's really cute. And that would be a really nice gift for someone as yeah, well. Right, last thing. Z. This was what I'm talking about. See, that was two, the two for 10 pounds. So this was the other thing. Two oh, well done, what is it? Oh, one of those! Yeah, it's called Zapper. That's a real fun thing. Jojo really yeah. enjoys trying that. There's like a metal bar and you have to guide a, a loop around it without touching the edges. Otherwise yeah. it goes zzz, and zaps. It doesn't zap you, but it just makes a zappy noise, yeah. doesn't it? Well done, Mummy, with that. I know. So, good haul, guys. How did you find this in general, anyway? I loved it. I loved that shot. But of course, it's down to you, Free Gang, to decide who you think won this challenge. This kid versus parent ABC alphabet shopping challenge. I think I know what they're going to say. Well, already. yeah, you've made it pretty easy for them, let's be fair. ABC E F G challenge. <laughs> Where is the D? But yes, let us know in the comments below who you think won. We always rely on you guys with this. You guys are the ones, you are the authority. So that is it for another video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed watching. We always love doing these funny ABC alphabet challenges for you guys. Uh, before we finish, I'm just going to give a shout out to one of you lovely free gang who has requested them. Now, this is from someone we actually met over the weekend in Manchester, from Georgie, saying, it was so good seeing you today live, but actually live, nice. Bob, your poem was amazing and it deserves to be shared and I'd love to hear it again. Thank you so much. Katie, your hair looked amazing, and Jojo, you were incredibly lively today. Ooh. And I can't believe how much energy you had. He's like that every day. Yeah, that's that. I'm seriously now considering being vegan, wow, and trying to slowly convince my family. Sorry for being so awkward talking to you. I have so much more I wanted to say, but I also realised how busy you were, so thank you for taking the time to say hi and having a picture. P.S. Could I please, could I have a shout out? 
Yeah. Georgie, it was lovely speaking to you. I really appreciate you and your mum coming along to the talk and having a chat with us afterwards. It was lovely to speak to both of you. You both seem really, really nice people. And yeah, and we were more than happy to give you a shout out. Thanks again for watching. And if any of you guys uh, feel like a shout out in an upcoming video, leave it in the comments below. We'll try and get it done in the next video or a video coming soon. And if any of you guys are new to the channel and you like seeing the fun ABC challenges we do, then we would love it if you subscribed. And hit that notification bell so you kept up to date on when we do upload videos and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace, Peace out! out. <laughs> the man about my face!